We are looking at oil flowing from an upper reservoir to a lower reservoir through a pipe with a couple of bands. Physics. Since this is a flow system, it's obviously an energy equation problem. We're going to have to calculate um, head loss here because this is a viscous flow and we'll have head loss in the pipe plus head loss in the components and transitions. So we'll be using the combined head loss equation. The situation and goal are documented here in the usual way. Since the goal is elevation of the upper reservoir, we start with the energy equation, term by term analysis. The reduced equation is that the elevation at the upper reservoir is equal to the head loss in the system. So to predict the head loss, we go to the combined head loss equation, which is written here. Now let's do term by term analysis on this equation. This term involves head loss in the pipes and we can look at the situation diagram and break the pipes into a number of different ones but if we notice that they're all the same diameter we can just simply write this as F L over D V squared over 2G where L is the total length of pipe. To analyze the minor losses look for components and transitions. Here we have an entrance so there's a head loss there. Here we have a pipe bend and right below it we have another pipe bend so there's head loss there. Here we have a sudden expansion so there's a head loss there. So we're going to need to find coefficients for each of these head losses. Let's go to the textbook and find those coefficients. Table 5 is where we look. For the pipe entrance we look right here. Let's assume that the radius to diameter ratio is 0.0, .0 and then our minor loss coefficient is 0 0.5. Assume a smooth bend. Our radius to diameter ratio is specified as 2, so our minor loss coefficient, k sub b, is 0 0.19. For the exit, use the expansion here. Theta is 180 degrees. D2 is effectively infinity, so the ratio of D1 to D2 is 0. And so you look right here and the minor loss coefficient is 1.0 corresponding to an angle of 180 degrees. Alright, document the minor loss coefficients. Notice the use of subscripts. We can find velocity with the flow rate equation and then we can calculate Reynolds number once we know velocity then we can calculate the friction factor by using Reynolds number to decide do we have laminar flow do we have turbulent flow so let's here's the plan calculate the mean velocity in the pipe then calculate the Reynolds number establish the flow condition then calculate the friction factor and then once we have the friction factor we can calculate the head loss and solve for the problem goal alright let's execute the plan the mean velocity is 1.58 meters per second. The Reynolds number comes out to be 5,925, and this is greater than 3,000, which is our criteria for turbulent flow. Therefore, use the Swami Jane correlation and calculate a resistance or a friction factor of 0 0.036. And lastly, we can calculate the head loss of 6.25 meters. So the elevation of Reservoir 1 is 6.3 meters above our datum and going back to the original problem statement this is 136 meters um, above the elevation used in the problem statement. We are done. Hope you enjoyed this solution.